so Bugu is leaving today and we are doing a meal here at Cheesecake Factory. Bugs, what do you feel? Are you you're uh, leaving now? It went so fast. I'm I know. Eat. The trip went by so fast, but let's go. We're gonna have dinner now at Cheesecake Factory. Ooh, look at this. Is there a tres leches one? I think they do have a tres leches cheesecake, right? No. Mm, I think I should have one today. A cheesecake. Who cares? You're in business class, so enjoy the amenities. Ooh, so many choices. Okay, I'm excited to eat now. That's bagoy and his salmon. Crusted Andrew with his orange chicken. And of course, I haven't had this in a long time. Actually, I used to stop ordering this, which is the miso glazed salmon from Cheesecake Factory. It's so good. You enjoying it, Bugs? Yeah. So Boogs is heading back to the Philippines after visiting for only a couple weeks because he's busy, he's got work. But it was nice having him around. <laughs> bye Boogs. Bye. But you get to go in priority. Bye bye. Bye Boogs. So Bugu just took off via Cafe Pacific. You know, it's nice, you know, even though this is my condition right now, it's like getting my visitors, you know, at the Mylan, my dad, my mom, Ate, you know, when people come visit me, so. Let's see who's next. Who's gonna come visit me next? This is totally unexpected that I would be here. I, after, I mean, after Jamaica, I thought it was going home. I was gonna stay just for a little bit and I was gonna go back to the Philippines. <laughs> right? Get some antibiotics for my cough, but that's not what happened. And, you know, again, I'm blessed to have the circle that I have and, like I said, my support group, support system family visiting me so it is what it is and I just want to get better and I'm gonna to fight to get better so that I can go visit again the Philippines because I miss being there too so I gotta get better that's part of the goal and uh, I'll make it happen so that's it and again looking forward to seeing who's gonna be my next visitor that visits me all right today is another appointment but today I'm at China Basin for my MRI, for my brain scan because um, I do have a tumor that did go up there and it's only 0.5 millimeter and the treatment that I'm doing with the vitracti, the targeted treatment is supposed to also work towards the brain but we got to do this MRI to make sure that it's actually doing something with it. So here we're at radiology today, see, radiology UCSF. So we're near like the baseball stadiums and stuff like that. And here we go, I'm gonna check in right now. So this one's a little bit different. Um, I gotta change into a gown. Normally they let me do it in the clothes that I'm in, but today just to be safe, they're gonna make me go into, change into a gown, which you guys see here. And I'm gonna get changed now, so can't show you guys me changing. <laughs> All right, now I'm all ready for my MRI. Unfortunately, I can't bring my cell phone inside there, so I can't even show you guys how the machine looks like. But I'm gonna go inside and get my IV done uh, because it's with contrast solution again, one with and one without, so here we go. All right, so I just got done with my MRI. Sorry, I couldn't take you guys inside there because we weren't allowed to take anything inside. And behind me is, look, the uh, ballpark. See it? The uh, Oracle, where the Giants play. So I'm glad it's done. I was able to just fall asleep pretty much for the whole procedure, but it's really loud. If you've never done an MRI before, it's super loud. It's like a series of noise. Luckily, I fell asleep for most of it. It was like... That's basically what it sounds like. <laughs> so I don't wish it upon anybody to have to ever take an MRI, but if you ever have to take an MRI, it was nice that it's in the morning because you're kind of tired, so. Yeah, so ready to 
Hey guys, uh, it's me, Hanson. Anyways, I'm in front of my computer right now. I'm so blessed with all the messages and the outpour of love and prayers that people have been sending me throughout this journey. It's really been tough. It's been full of ups and downs, but reading these prayers and these well wishes for me just means the world to me. I just want to give you guys an update because you guys were with me yesterday for my MRI to check that tumor that's in my brain <laughs> and my brother's head. It's funny because my brother's having breakfast right now, you know, he's over there. Just got done with the gym and he's studying as well. Anyways, I got the results back from the MRI and it was pretty quick. I am happy to say that tumor is pretty much non-existent. Uh, basically what it says here is that there's no evidence of active intracranial meta metastatic disease. You know, my heart is full, Jeezy. I mean, how did we feel yesterday? I mean, I didn't get to say anything right away because my cousins came over yesterday and we were celebrating, but it just feels so good because I was, you know, even though I wasn't really showing it, I was really nervous about that. When it's in the brain, it's a completely different, you know, scenario and there is treatment for it, but it was just like, I'm dealing already with so much with the lung cancer as it is. and. You know, it going to my brain was just, you know, it was really devastating news when I first found out. Our heart sank. Yeah, Jeezy's right. Like, our heart sank. Like, really, not only mine, my mom, my brother, and I just remember when I read it the first time from the first MRI when I was still in the hospital because I was, you know, um, stuck in there for 10 days at UCSF in Parnassus. And um, just to hear that news, I'm actually, we're reading it from the results because there's like this my chart uh, system that we have. I didn't really know how to read it, but reading it, dun ko nakita na parang nakakalungkot talaga pag nalaman me meron sa brain. So just, it felt so good yesterday when we saw the results. And I just want to share with you guys that it's gone. And all those prayers, you guys are, the, one of the reasons I, actually I wanted to share this because I did want to share my journey with you guys. The amount of prayers that I knew I would hopefully, well actually that I, I didn't know for sure, but I was hoping to get, you know, it really means <clears throat> so much to me that a lot of people are praying and day by day I'm seeing miracles happening from the prayer. I mean, I'm not out of the woods yet, but to know that I have a lot of prayers by my side means so much to me so please keep on praying for me and um, I'm working on vlogs that will hopefully share my story and hopefully will inspire others to not only um, get through this but to stay strong during this journey because I have to remind myself that all the time even as I'm fighting you know you do have your moments and it's okay as you guys heard in one of the vlogs um, from one of the doctors actually that you know you don't always have to be strong so thankful to everybody who's been supporting me and watching me let's keep up the good fight right Jeezy? Yes. <laughs> so what's up guys? Today I have a meeting with my SMS doctor. There's a few concerns that I want to talk about regarding my pain management. So I'm glad this meeting is actually happening today because I do have some concerns about it. After several weeks, my mom is back in town and this time she came with a lot of groceries. And that can only mean one thing, a lot of meals cooked by her. My mom moved about two hours away from where I'm staying right now and she's back in town to help take care of me and to also celebrate her birthday, which we did. She's bringing so many groceries. One of the things I love when my mom comes to visit me is she cooks for me. And it's been several weeks. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she's an American girl now. Wow, you have so much stuff. You brought a back scratcher? <laughs> I always do. Oh, there's one here. Happy birthday! <laughs> the babies want to say hi to you. They want to say hi to grandma. Izzy, go say hi to grandma. Come here, Izzy. Come here, Izzy. Oh, they want to say hi to grandma. There you go. Oh, yeah, I need so much attention. Uh, what are you making? Sinigang? For today? Are we going to go out for your birthday? Okay. Do you want to go out or no? Sure. <laughs> oh, that means no. That means I can't. I can't. <coughs> I don't have to cook. That's good. Well, if you want to cook. Oh, you my can. cake! It was so good. I took Is it. Is it mocha? Me. It's not mocha. It's tiramisu. 
Are those your outside chinelas? No, I just bought it. It's not I pronounced tiramisu, mom. Bag. It's chiramisu. Tiramisu. No, chiramisu. That's the actual way to say it. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> Zell, I was just making a joke. Me <laughs> 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 So today we're out for my mom's birthday. I rarely get to go out, so it's nice to get out. Mmm, Sharon would have loved. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's gonna pour it. Oh, you can smell it. Yeah, and Sharon Oh, I give it to you. Happy birthday, mom. So I'm back with mama. I didn't see her after several weeks. You keep rubbing that in, it's get longer. And it happened, I'm gonna drag, no? So it's my fault. It's her. It's whose fault is that? Joke. It's time to eat. Mom got her first basher today. Huh? I said mom got her first basher today. I don't give a shit. That's my feeling at the moment. Yeah, and she really meant well, and so that's... That is a very emotional moment. For me to say that, it's because I don't want anybody to take him away. Okay, all right, hi! <laughs> she got her first basher, I, I told her this morning. And that was her reaction to it. No, I just think it's funny, that's just the way it goes, you know. I just laughed because that was mom's first. Nobody's ever said anything about mom. You've gotten so much love, and then now you got your first basher. And because I was like cursing. Yeah, but I love it when my mom's here because when mom's here, there's a lot of food. I'm so yeah, hungry, really. Can't wait. Oh god, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, but no bashing mom, okay, guys? Not allowed to bash mother. Yes. Mm -mm. Only I can bash her. Right, mother? No. You need to stop your hysterics. Kasi, thou, do you understand? That's like a hysterical moment for me. <laughs> Very raw. Oh, that looks good. Kiwi. My mom eats kiwi and avocado every morning. I don't know why, but she does. Look, you're m missing out on so much of the other. Who cares? Give me a quarter. Yeah. Can't wait to eat. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today is going to be my first session working with a specialist that deals with people with cancer to do their workouts, especially because I haven't been working out for a while. But since I've been doing my treatment, things have been going in the right direction, but it's been a while since I've actually worked out. So today will be my first day of working out with my exercise specialist. It's gonna be weird because it's from going to the gym almost every day and then not doing the gym for about five, six months now. And now I'm finally gonna work out again. So we'll see how that works out and how my body reacts. But I need to start working out, it's good for me. Speaking of the devil, my brother's just getting home now from his workout. I'm just about to start my workout. So we'll see how it goes. And I don't know what I need. He, she just said a chair, a solid chair, eight pound dumbbells, and measuring tape. So those are the things I need. No, I don't have the measuring tape because Andrew's been in meetings all morning. So yeah, I'm kind of anxious to see how it's gonna go because I haven't been working out, how my body's gonna react. So I have a ton of questions for her as well. So here we go, I'm about to start my workout. So before I start my workout, I'm gonna have a little sports breakfast. Just have a fortified breakfast with um, toast with peanut butter and banana and some coffee. I need to get some energy before I start my workout. So I need to eat a little something and wish me luck. I'm kind of nervous actually, because I don't know what my body is capable of doing. But I'm sure I'm, it's kind of like the muscle memory is going to kick in and I'll be able to do my workout properly. But it's going to be nice after, you know, being in the hospital and doing all the things. It's finally good to be back and to be able to do workout. So hopefully that will help get me on the right track to my recovery and making sure that I, you know, fight with every ounce of my being, you know, fight this cancer. So here we go. Well, I just got done with Ariel from Maple Tree Cancer Alliance and she's a certified exercise oncology instructor and I'm pretty excited. To, you know, we set some goals for the week and it's a 12 week program to get me back into my fitness the way it used to be and what I was capable of doing. One of the things that we talked about is like the weekly goals, things that I can do to help get me back to where I was. So I'm really excited to see where this program will get me. 
um, too. And uh, with the support of people like her, I'm gonna be able to get back to where I was. So, you know, it's gonna take a while. Imagine for, for about five to six months, I haven't been working out. It's gonna take some time. We're gonna start slow and hopefully this will get me to where I was. So I'm excited to see where this will take me and um, Hopefully in no time, I'll be able to go to the gym again and do my regular activities as I did before. So there we go. Next up was my meeting with a nurse from UCSF's Integrative Medicine. So basically I get a lot of messages from viewers telling me to try this, try that, take this, take that. This department blends proven, conventional and complementary medicine approaches from around the world in a more coordinated way. They do a lot of rigorous research to make sure that the things that you suggest is backed by science. What are your thoughts about that? If there are benefits to me and again, my path to, you know, getting my treatment on you know, even better. I'm completely open right. to it. I will send you that information, okay? So shortly after doing my workout, I would say probably about maybe less than two weeks, I started to feel different. I was weak, I was staying in bed mainly, or sleeping on the couch a lot. I was just really tired, and I thought it had something to do maybe with my thyroid being imbalanced or something like that. At this point, I didn't know what was going on, so I needed to advocate for my health, and I kept asking my doctors what was going on, and we did a CT scan, but basically things took a turn for the worse. As I've said, things get worse before they get better. And things really went bad. All right. Lately, I haven't been feeling well, guys. Part of it is because they mess with my thyroid. We had to adjust the uh, levothyroxine. Ended end up going much higher than I needed to be. So I was really feeling like crap. And then I started getting a cough. I have shortness of breath right now. So my doctors, to be on the safe side, moved my CT scan to today versus the 24th or the 25th. And um, hopefully there's nothing bad. We will see my white blood cells have been up. So this scan will tell us more or less where we are in the game right now, you know. Cancer is very tricky and you know, I'm just glad I got this scan done. So I've been pretty tired lately and just trying to overcome this. Because I was feeling fine already, I was already working out. I also finally got to give you guys a tidbit of how it looks like inside when I'm actually getting my scans. But please keep sending your prayers, guys. I don't know what to think at this point in terms of this CT scan, just because I'm having a hard time breathing. I just take it one day at a time and let's just hope for the best again. It's been pretty tough couple of weeks, had a rough go at this. Now that we've adjusted my thyroid medicine and all those other things, hopefully I'll start to normalize and start to feel better. Since my white blood cells were quite high, my doctors put me on antibiotics just to be safe. It would just kill whatever's in there or causing a ruckus internally. So I will be crossing my fingers until the results come in. I just want to feel better. I haven't been feeling good. So this could be the steps in getting me towards that direction. So. Uh, thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me back here again. It's been a while since I've been here at uh, UCSF to get any kind of scans because now we're at the point where we're just like letting the medicine do its job and take over and more updates to come as soon as I have them for you guys.